No, we're not talking about vaccines today. What we're we talking about? It's uh, 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 asparagus and onions. I've written it down. And it's okay. Particularly in crisps in America and in Europe. I think you might have got it in Doritos as well. There it is. Can you see? Oh, it's a bit bright. Yeah. Can you see that? Ah, there you can. There we go. As paragonies. As paragonies. Do you know you were saying? I was saying in one of his videos the other day that um, I rarely put anything. I don't like to put things in my body that I can't pronounce. Mm. So, what is that stuff in? It's in Doritos and all sorts. It's in kids' maize. crisps, right? yep. really. Maize. And, um, well, I asked the phone what it was, and I had to type it in manually. And um, it's used to treat leukaemia in children. Mm. And leukaemia is blood cancer. Let's see if we can get the phone and talk to it because it didn't quite know what I was on about. But I couldn't believe it. I've not even heard of it. Maybe you're saying it wrong. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Where's the phone gone? Oh, here we go. Here's the phone. Sat on it again. And during this intermission, please be appraised to keep your seats and keep concentrating on the screen as the control system kicks in. As the control system kicks in. <laughs> Asparagonase. Asparagus. Asparagonase. I still can't see because they're with sunglasses. We'll get this right eventually, but this is really interesting. I think it's got it. It thought it was asparagus before. Asparagonase. It says, Asparagonase is an enzyme that is used as a medication in, and in food manufacturing. It is a bacteria. A medication to use to treat acute leukemia in children and non-Hodgkinson's lymphoma. It is given by injection in a vein muscle or under the skin. A pegligated version is also available. Mm. Uh, so... It's used to treat cancer. It's a, it's a chemotherapy drug used to treat, treat treat leukemia and other types of cancer. It's made from a type of bacteria called Escherichia coli. You know as an E. coli? Why would they be putting that on crisps? Good point. Government approved. Oh, oh yeah. So that it's a... That's, that's why nowadays you go into any shop and you can't find orange juice or blackcurrant juice or any juice that doesn't say sugar free. And when it says sugar free, it means aspartame instead. Do you know one of my favourite drinks from when I was a kid, I'm not going to mention it. It began, it began with V, it was fruit juice drink. It used to be made at Nuneaton. And uh, we used to have a pub and um, that was delicious, fruit, fruit berries sort of. And um, somebody handed me one in the chip shop the other day and... Uh, we were talking about additives in things, and um, yeah, he says, oh, I don't drink that, and I don't drink this, and I went, oh, I only drink this because, oh dear, I won't be drinking this again. Asphaltane and... Axelcane, plain K. That was the one. So, yeah, how... So how come food manufacturers are putting a look a cancer cure for leukemia. Well, well, you can't. Which say is it's made a cure. from E. coli bacteria. Did you get that E. coli? That's made from bacteria, and aspartame is also back. It's actually bacteria. The defecation of bacteria. So I asked. Yeah, you know, we were asking some people the other week, weren't we? Mm. Um, they got these fruit shoot drinks down, and some Pringles, and all that sort of stuff, and Doritos. And I said. Would, we said to them, didn't we, would you feed your kids bacteria like E. coli I'm using now? And they went, oh no, it's kill them. So, okay. Would you feed your kids the crap or the shit, the defecation of bacteria? Most definitely not. Have you looked to see what's in the food and drinks that you've put on the table that they're consuming now? They went crazy, didn't they? 
Government approved snacks and drinks. Yes, this will kill you, snacks and drinks. So, the title of this video, do government approved snacks and drinks kill you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs>